Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Yarn Scrap Friday and this as promised this Friday I'm going to show you how to make a little spider here to go with your spider web from last week. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to be using some of our very own um, yarn, some Happy Bray Baby Snuggles yarn. Uh, this is available on our website to buy now. And this is a DK light worsted weight yarn and we're going to be using the colour silver. And we're also going to be using a 2.5mm crochet hook, so quite a small one. And it's a good idea to have a pair of scissors and a yarn needle as well for tying in those ends, sewing in those ends and sewing on the legs. And it's also a good idea to have some toy stuffing as well. Um, but you can of course use yarn scraps as well for stuffing, they work just as well. Okay, so I think that's it, so let's begin. Okay, so the first thing to do is we're going to chain four to begin. Let's just chain four. One, two, three, and four. And then we're going to slip stitch into our first chain to form a loop. So you want to put your hook into that first chain. I usually just catch that one bit of yarn. Then bring the yarn through the chain and straight through the loop on your hook. And that forms a loop of your four chains where they meet at the beginning and the end. And in the middle, obviously, you'll find a little hole. You can see that. And into that hole, we need to work six single crochet. So we're going to put our hook into that center hole. And ignoring how many chains we've got now, we're going to work six single crochet around those chains, around that loop. So one. This is new S terminology. One, two, three, four. Last one, six. Okay, like that. And you can just pull your tail end if you want to, just to tighten the hole. So you should have six single crochet. Um, but we're not going to join the round. We're not going to slip stitch into the first one for a change. We're just going to stop there and go straight on to the next round. So we're not going to join the round or chain one at the beginning or anything. So we're just going to work in a spiral shape. And what we're going to do next is we're going to work two single crochet in that first single crochet. So finding your first single crochet, so you should have tip six, uh, two, four, five, and six. So in that first one, you're going to put your hook under both loops. And we want to work two single crochet. Let's bring the yarn through and do one single crochet. Then we're going to go back into the same stitch and do another single crochet. So you've got two in there, like so. And you want to work two single crochet in each stitch around, so you end up with a stitch count of 12. So we do two in the next one, one, then go back into the same stitch and do another one. Another single crochet. Then we do two in the next one. So that's five and six. Back into the same stitch. Then two in the next one. Back in. And two in the next one. Back into the same stitch. 
and then two in the last one as well. One and back into the same stitch like so. So I've been counting in my head as I've gone and you should have 12 stitches now. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 and 12. In case you should have doubled up by doing two single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. So now this is round three. So in the next stitch, straight away, we're not going to join the round or chain one or anything. I'm going to go straight into the next stitch and do just one single crochet by itself. So you want to just do just one. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do two single crochet. So go into the next stitch and do two single crochet so there's one and we go back into the same stitch and do another one okay and then we want to repeat that pattern so in the next stitch we're just going to do one single crochet by itself so just one then in the next stitch we're going to do two single crochet one and go back into the same stitch two and you just want to repeat that round doing one single crochet two single crochet one single crochet two single crochet until you get a stitch count of 18 so you can either put in a little stitch marker at the beginning so you know where to end or you can just count up to 18 so one two three four five six seven eight nine and so on and so forth back to the beginning okay so you're just going to repeat that round doing one single crochet two single crochet one single crochet two single crochet until you get a stitch count of 18 back at the beginning okay let's go up to the last two so that was 16 by itself and then 17 and 18 and the last stitch 17 go back into the same stitch for 18 so by the end of round three you can see we're back at the beginning so if you look very carefully you can see the beginning of our spiral starts there there's our main circle and the beginning of our spiral started there that was the end then it started there and there we've just ended so you can sort of roughly see where you start and end and by the end of round three you should have a stitch count of 18 and then for round four we're going to do one more increase round but we're going to do one single crochet in the next two and then two single crochet so we go into the next stitch and do one single crochet by itself just one then in the next stitch we do one single crochet by itself then in the next stitch we do two single crochet one and go back into the same stitch and do another one so you want to repeat that round doing one single crochet one single crochet two single crochet one single crochet one single crochet two single crochet back to the beginning until you get a stitch count of 24 so in the next stitch it'll be one single crochet by itself and in the next stitch one single crochet by itself and then two single crochet so one and then go back into the same stitch okay so repeat that round until you get a stitch count of 24 so one single crochet one single crochet two single crochet okay so just coming up to the last three stitches and um, we've got up to 20 so 21 by itself in the next stitch 22 by itself in the next stitch then the last stitch we're doing 23 and 24 23 and back into the same stitch 24 like so and you can see it's ended on our spiral end again okay so by the end of round four you should have a stitch count of 24 and it should look a little something like that 
Now we're going to do three rounds, five, six, and seven. So rounds five, six, and seven. We're just literally going to do one single crochet in each stitch around. So you still have a stitch count of 24. And we don't join the round and we don't chain one or anything like that. We're just working in the spiral. So we're just going to go straight into the next stitch and do one single crochet. We're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around, so you can just count up to 24, and we're going to do that for three rounds, okay? So, for three rounds, so it's one, two, three, twenty-two, twenty-three, and the last one on the last round, twenty-four. There we go, so I've just done three rounds of one single crochet in each stitch round, just continuing working in that spiral. And you can see still, that's where our spiral began. That's where we've ended. Okay, so now we're going to move on to round eight. And for round eight, we're going to do one single crochet in the next two. So similar to what we did on that last increase round. Do one single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, like so. But this time we're going to single crochet the next two stitches together. So to do that, we're going to go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, but we're going to stop there and go straight into the next stitch and bring the yarn through. So we've got three loops. Then yarn over and pull through all your loops. And that single crochets two stitches together. You're going to repeat this pattern round, doing one single crochet, one single crochet, then single crochet, two stitches together. So I'll show you again. Go into the next stitch now, just do one single crochet, like so. Then go into the next stitch and do one single crochet. And then we need to single crochet two together. So we go into the next stitch, Bring the yarn through, but stop, and go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, then yarn over and pull through all three loops to single crochet two together. So just repeat that round, doing one single crochet in the next two, one, two, and then single crochet two together. And that should reduce your stitch count down from 24 to 18 again. Okay, so I'm going to do that, and then I shall come back. So, one, two, three. Okay, so I'm down to the last four. So, one, same crochet in the next two. Then single crochet the last two together, 23 and 24, like so. So that should reduce your stitch count back down to 18 now. And then for round 9, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch around. So I'm just going to keep a stitch count of 18. So we just go straight into the next stitch and do one single crochet. And do one single crochet in each stitch around. So just count up to... Um, 18. So one, two, 16, 17, and the last one, 18. So we've just done one single crochet in each stitch around. So we've still got a stitch count of 18, just makes it a bit longer. And then we're going to do another decrease round, round 10 now. And to do that, we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch by itself. So just one single crochet. And then we're going to do our single crochet two together. So we go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through and stop. So next stitch, bring the yarn through. So you've got three loops, yarn over pull through all three. So just repeat that round, doing one single crochet in the next stitch by itself. So one single crochet, 
and then single crochet two together. Stop. Next stitch, three loops, yarn over. Okay, so you want to repeat that round doing one single crochet, then single crochet two together, one single crochet, single crochet two together, until you get a stitch count back down to 12. Okay, so what I do to help with counting is I do one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven by itself, then eight and nine, I crochet together. I know I'm counting up to 18, but I'm reducing down to 12. And then come up to the last three, 16 by itself. And 17 and 18, I'm crocheting together. 18. And now we stop working with our stitch count of 18 because our stitch count has now gone down to 12. 2, 4, 6, 8. 10, 12, okay? And it should look a little something like that if I get it on camera. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to round 11. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, round 11. And we're going to increase back up now to sort of work on the head shape. And to do that, we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. So it's kind of like the same round, but instead of single crocheting two together, we increase. So we do one single crochet in the next stitch and then we do two single crochet in the next stitch. So we're going back to increases. So we do one then we go back into the same stitch and do another one. So we've got two in there. Okay, And we're going to repeat that again. We do one single crochet in the next stitch by itself. So just the one. And then you see I'm flattening my work as I go because it's a bit easier. So one single crochet. Then in the next stitch we do two single crochet. Do one and back into the same stitch and do another. Okay, so repeat that round doing one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet until you get a stitch count back up to 18 again. Okay. And 16 by itself, and then 17 and 18, so 17, then back into the same stitch for 18. Okay, so remember when you're increasing to count up to 18, not 12, even though you're only working into 12 stitches. Okay, so it should start to look like sort of strange little. Roman vase at the moment <laughs> and you should have a stitch count of 18 and then we're just going to do a couple of rounds rounds 12 and 13 of just one single crochet in each stitch round so we still keep a stitch count of 18 okay so two rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch round so we go straight into the next stitch and do one single crochet and this time we're just going to count up to 18 for two rounds. Okay, so one, seventeen, and the very last one on the second round, eighteen. Okay, so I have done two rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around, just counting up to eighteen twice, and you should still have a stitch count of eighteen, and it should look even more like a little Roman vase. Um, so what we're going to do now is the last round. Um, so what you want to do at this point actually is stuff your little spider. So you want to get your toy stuffing or your yarn scraps. And taking some scissors, which helps with stuffing, you can just use your scissors to stuff your little spider body. And I'm not sure how much you need. So you can just see how you go. Probably use all that. And then the very last round, 
once you've finished stuffing is we're going to single crochet it closed completely so we're just going to keep single crocheting until it is closed and when it gets too fiddly you can just cut your yarn and sew the remaining um, hole closed so what we're going to do is just do that so we go into the next stitch pull through stop to the next stitch pull through and we've got three loops yarn over pull for all three so you don't need to worry about counting now you just keep going till it gets too fiddly let's go into the next stitch pull through stop into the next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And just keep repeating that. Into the next stitch, pull through, stop. Next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay. So I'm going to keep doing this until it gets too fiddly, and then I'll sew the remaining gap closed. and show you what to do next. Let's see how far I can get. <laughs> As it gets more fiddly you can flatten it okay I think that's the end of the round so my stitch count should have gone down to about nine now at the end of that round but you just keep going you may want to add a bit more stuffing if you want to and just keep doing that and when it gets too fiddly you can just pull up and taking a bit of a tail end like that just cut your yarn I'm not going to cut my yarn because I'm going to undo this and save this yarn but you just cut this yarn and then taking a yarn needle you just thread the yarn onto your yarn needle and sew the remaining hole closed by just sewing into the next stitch then out for the next pull through and then you go into the next stitch and out for the next stitch and pull through so it just drawstrings it closed at the end then hide your tail end on the inside uh, I'll show you how to do that on the legs so you know what to do as well okay and then I shall come back in fact I shall move on to one I made earlier. So I'm going to put that to the side and I shall bring in this little guy which is the one I am actually making. So here I have finished single crocheting the end close and I just draw stringed and sewed it closed then hid my tail end on the inside and I've so far I've created seven out of the eight legs and I shall show you now how to do the legs. So to do the legs what we do is we take the same coloured yarn and the same hook size and just do a little slip knot to begin and we need to chain four to begin so chain four one two three four so chain four and then very similar to the very beginning of the spider we want to slip stitch into our first chain to form a loop so I'm just going to put my hook just under that one loop of the first chain bring the yarn through there and then straight through the loop on the hook and that creates a little loop but this time what we're going to do is we're just going to chain 16 from then so just go straight into chaining 16 one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oops, missed, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 
16. So you want to chain 16 after your little loop as well. Then you want to leave a little bit of a tail for sewing. And I am actually going to cut this yarn this time because I want to finish this spider. Then just pull your yarn through so it finishes. You should have something that looks like that. This is going to be our last leg that you need to make. You need to repeat this obviously another seven times. You get eight legs in total. And what we're going to do is we're going to tidy up the little foot first. So taking our yarn needle, we thread on our yarn, which I didn't do very well, and then we want to just, to neaten off, we're going to sew on the actual long piece in the middle, just above the loop there, and bring that through, just to round off our foot, and turn him over, and then just secure your tail end as best you can. Like so, that should be enough. And then we just cut off the excess, like so. And then that creates our little foot for our spider. And then with the other end, we use this to sew onto the body. And to do that, what I've done here is I've actually started the first legs just in between the head and the body there and then I've counted over two rows as you can see there is I sewed that one in on that row and I counted two over one two and sewed in the next one the same again for the next leg one two there so for the last one one two it's going to be on this row I just want to make sure it lines up with the the other side I think that looks pretty good so you just put your yarn needle in and come out on the other side somewhere. It doesn't really matter where. And you want to pull a little tightly so it sort of is nice and secure. So put it nice and tight at first. And then rather than going back in where your yarn came out, which I normally say in my videos, I want it to go slightly over, just slightly over, so this yarn catches on the outside. It just makes that a little bit more secure when working with legs. And then come out the other side. You don't want to pull too tightly because you don't want to distort it like so. And then we just need to hide our tail end and this is what you would do when sewing up the front as well. You just go in anywhere on the body and come out anywhere somewhere else on the body, doesn't matter where. Don't pull too tightly and it all gets um, caught on the stuffing on the inside you see and then go back in where you came out and go back over to somewhere else let's come out over here again don't pull too tightly and then what we're going to do is take off the yarn needle push the body down hold up the the yarn and then trim as close as you can get away with and then let go and the tail end should just disappear on the inside. So that's how I always tie my ends in. So there we go. There's our little spider. I can't remember which way around he is. I think he's this way around. And like I said, you have to repeat all those steps for the foot and the legs, sewing it on. Repeat that another seven times so you've got all your eight legs and sew them on, spreading them two rows apart. So he looks a little like this. Okay, so when you've done that, um, you then need to work on the eyes. Okay, so to work on the eyes, um, you just need a tiny little bit of black yarn, which I actually forgot to mention, so I have to edit that in, in the supply list. So, cut a little bit of black yarn. Um, this is just a piece of cotton yarn that I've got, because I'm running a bit low on black yarn, actually. So, I've just got some cotton yarn and I think it's a DK light worsted weight yarn might even be worsted weight, I'm not sure it doesn't really matter as long as it's roughly the same weight as the spider yarn you're using 
thread that on and then what I do is when you're figured out which way up you want him to be you just want to go in on his eyes and obviously you might want to do you might want to sew on eyes or sew on some little buttons or even sequins um, you could actually sew on loads of little sequins um, to make him look like he's got lots of eyes but I'm going to keep mine fairly simple for the sake of this video and I'm going to go in one side and come straight out the other side level so he's going in level okay like so and pull that through just put it through and then leave a little tail roughly that length the other side and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down a little bit horizontally there and come out again the other side just slightly below as well so you go down and then back a row and then come out the other side down back a row like so similar eyes as I did to my snails and then we just need to go back in where we started so just want to put your needle back in where you started and then just come out somewhere on the belly I would say and if any black does show it will be hidden on the belly okay so pull that and then you've completed your two little eyes if you decide to sew eyes on and then just go back in where you came out to hide your tail end so I'm just going to come out somewhere else on the bottom that should disappear on the inside and I'm running out of yarn so I want to do it once more so I'm going to take my yarn needle off and just go back in as normal where the yarn came out and come over somewhere else on the body stop there though and just leave my little hole there and then I'll thread the yarn on ready and then sew through that's a good way of sewing with very small tail ends. There we go. And then all we do is push the body down, hold the tail end slightly taut, trim as close as you can get away with. And then when you let go, that should disappear on the inside. And if it doesn't, you can just use the tail end of your needle. And then with the remaining part of the yarn end we just thread that on and then go back in where we started literally back in again and do the same thing with hiding your tail end on the bottom okay so I'm just going to finish doing that and then I'll come back and show you the finished spider okay Okay, so there's our finished spider, and if we bring back in our spider web from last week, and obviously you might have wanted to have, let's move it over, you might have wanted to PVA glue this to stretch it into shape. Um, if you haven't seen this video, you can go check it out. I'll put a link in the description to this video. Um, there'll be a link at the end of the video anyway. But yeah, you can either tie this to your wall if you want to to keep its shape, or you can PVA glue it into shape so you could pin this to an old piece of wood like so and PVA glue it with some of that children's white glue might be called something else in America uh, let it dry so it goes hard keeps its shape and uh, that will also work but here we go here's our little spider for our spider web <laughs> and if you want to make him even more authentic you can add a little bit of white yarn and maybe even just have this hanging from the ceiling and have him hanging from the little spider web instead. <laughs> so there we go, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, hope you managed to follow along and uh, yeah, I shall see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching guys, bye!